Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm registering my son for Disability Access Service Pass, also known as DAS, for our upcoming Disney World trip in November. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I have a son who has a disability and he has been utilizing DAS Pass since he was about three years old. And every year that we've gone, we've gone multiple times a year, he uses DAS and it really makes his trip and his experience so much better, so much easier and less stress on him and he can truly enjoy Disney for what it is. Now this year, I believe it was April or May of 2024, Disney made significant changes to the Disability Access Service Pass. So many people who qualified before no longer qualified. Kids, adults who have autism and or similar disabilities also no longer qualify. It's such a loophole that honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know what it depends on. I don't know if it truly depends on the cast member and the medical person that comes on the call. I don't know if they're looking for keywords. Um, I don't know how one person with autism can qualify and the next not, though of course I understand that autism, just like any other disability, is a wide spectrum, but it's very unfortunate, I think. And um, also, if you've been on this channel for any amount of time, or if you are new, I have lots of videos that I made in regards to DAS, and I will link them all up here and down below. So definitely check them out. There's a lot of helpful information. But today is our turn. So we're 30 days out. But my only little dilemma why maybe this is not gonna happen today, because our first park day is actually a Christmas party. And I don't know if they would consider that a 30 day mark or they go to tell me that I need to come back tomorrow when it's actually 30 days to our first full park day. But in my mind, I think it shouldn't be an issue, but we'll see. So I'm gonna take you along with me. Of course, I can't record the actual call, but I will definitely provide you guys with as much information as possible. I did make notes. There are two notebooks here, but one I was just jotting everything down and then the other one I just, you know, wrote out key points. Am I nervous for this phone call? No, not at all. Honestly, not at all. Like there's not one ounce of me that's like panicking. Of course, I wrote things down, but it's only because there's just so much information. There's so much that happens in his daily life. I just didn't want to forget anything if they asked me a particular question. But otherwise, no, um, I'm not nervous. My son has a diagnosis. My son has a disability. We've been living like this for many, 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 many years. And he has accommodations in school. He has accommodations when he goes to the doctor. So our whole life revolves around how we better accommodate him and help him to have the best possible experience. So I have my notes. Again, it's nothing crazy. It's just, you know, what happens to him in line, how we do doctors, um, how we do school, how we do transportation, the supports he has in school, supports he has after school, accommodations that they do make for him in school, management needs, that all kind of goes in together. Am I going to be disappointed if he doesn't get approved? Of course I will be, very much so. I might even cry. <laughs> I'm telling you, because as a mother to a child who has special needs, you're living life constantly fighting and advocating and fighting for what is right, fighting for services, fighting for justice, fighting for more services. It's it's a never ending battle. You know, we have advocates, we have attorneys. It's a never ending battle for our children who have special needs and it's going to be absolutely heartbreaking if you know this cast member or this medical professional is just going to say uh, no I, I think he can wait in line because of course they don't know my son and they don't know how you know in depth this is going to affect him but it is what it is what am I gonna do you know it's just it also just kind of makes you think about the future because right now you know, I'm his voice, I fight for him, I advocate for him, I try to do my best for him, but in the future, when I'm not here, 
who's going to do that for him? And when there's situations like this where technically he qualifies, he qualifies, he is that population of people who qualify, who the desk was intended for, but he might not be approved. So anyways, without further ado, <laughs> Let's make this phone call happen. I'm just gonna chat with you guys while I log into my account. But if this is your first time applying for DAS, you wanna make sure that you do have a My Disney Experience account. You wanna make sure you have an account. You wanna make sure that everyone in your party who is applying for DAS with the person who needs DAS is registered. It's not guaranteed that they will, of course, approve your entire party because that also was part of the chain but you want to make sure everyone is there everyone is linked and you want to make sure that you have currently active tickets to the theme park and also remember that you have to register 30 days before your first park day so not 30 days before you arrive in disney but 30 days to your first park day so that's why i said i think in the beginning um that i'm just not sure how they're going to treat my specific situation because our first day is the christmas party so today is 30 days to the christmas party but tomorrow will be 30 days to our first full park day so i don't know if they're going to approve it for me to go ahead and have this conversation today or they're gonna tell me to come back tomorrow but either way you know we're going to try in my mind like i said i think it should work i don't i don't see a reason why because even for the parties my son still requires a das pass so let's see okay so let me show you what i do so i typically will go into this search bar and i will just type in das and then this will come up and I will just select this and I think this is where they tell you everything uh, register for DAS this is my first time doing it since everything has been updated revamped um, so it looks I think a tiny bit different but not too much okay so das is one of our programs that's offered at walt disney world resorts to accommodate only those guests who do to developmental disabilities such as autism or similar disorder are unable to wait in the conventional queue for an extended period of time of course this doesn't give you immediate entrance um register for das so guests may discuss their needs with a cast member via live video chat as soon as 30 days prior to their park visit so um this is kind of like the steps they're telling you sign in link valid theme park tickets ensure that the guest who is requesting das is present and then this is you know terms and conditions that you have to accept there's no way around it. This page has never worked for me, even in the past. Um, so then sometimes when I would get to the cast member, I would just ask them to send it to me via text message, via chat. So let me see, let me try to refresh it. So the link, she did send it to me, but it didn't open on the laptop. So she sent me another link and I'm able to do it on my phone through the app. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit it and let her know that it's done. Um, she's saying thank you for accepting the terms and conditions. It says in order to continue, it will be necessary to move our conversation from, from this chat session to a Zoom video meeting. This is where we will continue our conversation. Is that okay with you? Yes. So she's sending me the link now. Oh my goodness, this is happening really fast, huh? Okay, so we are done. I'm happy to say that my son was approved and all in all it took 23 minutes we didn't see a medical professional she took a picture of him he didn't want to be in the camera she didn't ask him any questions he was literally here for two and a half seconds if that um she asked me a lot of questions a lot and the questions were like 
give me an example what happens here what happens there how does he react what do you do how do you prep him of course listen i'm not gonna go into complete details i'm not gonna be spilling my son's you know diagnosis and his struggles here on the internet but i will tell you that when she asked me what is my concern about him waiting in a conventional queue line and i just told him like everything that's related to his disability to his diagnosis what he does what he will do how it will escalate and how it will affect him us and everyone around us um, she asked me how we handle doctor visits and I told her that we have a very very supportive pediatrician she accommodates us in every way possible uh, she asked me if we fly or drive or if we do both and what he prefers um, I said it really doesn't matter I said but for me as a parent driving is easier because the situation is controlled he is able to be himself and if we need to take breaks and whatever might come from that um, road trip it's easier for me to handle because i'm in control where when it comes to flying obviously we're not in control but we do get accommodations when we do fly because we apply for um tsa cares we also have tsa pre-check and then once we actually get to the gate I ask them if we can please board with the disabilities because my son has an XYZ disability and it's very hard for him because of XYZ and we have never had an issue. And of course, during the flight or during the car ride, he has a bag of tricks and snacks that keep him busy. What else? I have lots of notes. She asked me about his accommodations in school so i said that he you know goes to xyz school he has a management plan he does busing he has a paraprofessional you know to supervise him he has um, these services she asked me about shopping and what that looks like with him and i said that though it's difficult but of course we have done it and but i do try not to put him in situations where he might um, get in trouble or it might be dangerous for him and she asked me i think she asked me what is my biggest concern when he waits in line in disney and in other lines outside of the parks and um I pretty much said, you know, my main concern is his well-being and safety, safety of him and safety of others um, and what kind of situation, you know, that can put us in. And she said, okay, understood. And I think that was it, to be honest. Since the changes happened, so many people no longer qualify. And it's unfortunate. It's heartbreaking when I'm in Facebook groups and TikTok and Instagram and these posts come along and it, your mouth drops to the floor and you're just like, like, I don't even understand. I don't understand how this person does not qualify. I don't understand. I can only speak for us and our situation. And of course, my son is in that population of people with disabilities who qualify because of autism and or similar disabilities so i think if you fall into that category this video could be beneficial the best way you can approach it is be honest provide as much information as you can i know nobody wants to share much information but unfortunately we are at this place where we have to we have to provide very personal um information i mean some of this information my friends don't know some of my family members don't know so but that is my only way to really kind of help you guys to kind of you know give you that light at the end of the tunnel by saying that you really have to give a lot of information and you start from the beginning and you list everything and if you have to sit there and read from your notes then that's what you need to do but you need to paint a full picture all right guys well i hope you found this video helpful I'm very grateful and thankful that my son was approved. I also told that to the cast member that we are beyond grateful for this uh, opportunity and that he can still continue utilizing his dad and enjoying Disney parks to the fullest because Disney is in his heart. It's, it's in our hearts. We love Disney. I love Disney because my kids love Disney so much. If you have any questions that I might be able to help you with, leave them down in the comments below. I mean, I'm just so thankful that we had a positive experience and I hope the same for you and I'll see you real soon.